come with Matt and I for tree trap jumping. This was the drive there, and then when we got there, it was actually really pretty. This is me showing off what it looked like. It was really nice. And then the next scene is just going to be Nat on the ropes. Just step, yeah, step on the middle ones. Honestly, I really do wish that I went, but I didn't end up going because I have a dying fear of heights and I think I might have died. Oh my god, oh my god I'm just going to die. <laughs> I can't really say anything because I chickened out. But now I can be a recorder for Aiden and Danny. The original clip for this video was like three minutes long, so I just shortened it down and sped it up a bit. And as I said earlier, the actual place here was so pretty. So this is basically just what it looked like. I wish I was up there, but I just, I couldn't, so. Here's it from the ground. I want to make it very clear that you can't actually fall here. Well, that's kind of lie. You can fall, but you are attached to a harness. So if you were to fall, it would literally just look like this. Just so everyone knows. And it's clear, she was very safe. No, no, I think you're good. <laughs> Just know you can't go back now. You're too far in to go backwards. This is the one for the eight-year-olds. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, this is the adventure course. The one that's for the ages five and up. Five-year-olds have came before you. As to what Nat's doing right now, it was one of the third or fourth obstacles. It was jumping in between moving pillars, but it was kind of stupid because the pillars would hit each other and apparently it was really hard to cross. And as I said, it was really pretty here. So honestly, I took a lot of scenic shots. Also, if you're wondering how high she was, I think she was like 25 to 40 feet in the air, depending on where she was. Where? Just follow this path right here. It just links up with another path that goes that way. And there's a pathway like right along there. I appreciate that one. Honestly, this clip is literally nothing other than me running. I only included it because I thought it was genuinely funny that I ran probably like 40 feet with a harness that weighs 30 pounds. So. I made it. <laughs> If I failed to mention, this was a school trip, so there was a lot of people all around since this was the first course. So if you hear people in the background or if you see them, that's why. Can you not just take one really big step onto it? I can, but I want to make sure I have balance. You'll be fine. I honestly believe that this view gives the best view to actually showcase how high above she was at some points. Like, this part wasn't even that high, and this is one of the things she did today. I swear, these didn't look as hard as they actually were. Like, look how much the things were shaking when you put it into a higher speed. Like, they were trembling as she was stepping. I couldn't figure out a better way to take the video of this because the zipline was so long. And so steep, and I honestly don't understand why. This is what she's using right now to get on. It's quite annoying, you have to like clip it down here, and then it unclips at the top. Yeah, oh, there she is. <laughs> you got this, Nat! 
Just stick your feet out. She made it. Good job. You can get off the death trap now. There's a ladder at the end of this. If you want a better look at the harness, this is what it looks like. Thank you so much, Nat, for coming with me. And then the end is just going to be highlight videos, because of course now it's over. I'm trying, I'm trying to lean forward, but it doesn't want to. There we go. Anyways. Sit down. Yeah, that zipline that Nat just did. Well, she fucked it up right after. So here's what that looks like. Twice. Now you might be thinking, wait, I thought we just did the course. Well, we did. But Nat decided to go back on it and then get off halfway through because she wanted to do the thing at the same time, but faster. I'm going to hold the thing, So you're a pro now. How do you feel? Do you feel like a pro? I feel like split. Watch me miss. I kind of went hoping you do just so you just hang in there. That's about all we did today. Thanks again to Nat for coming with me, and then thanks again to Horseshoe Valley for having us.